sorry. Okay. As soon as I am done with this. Okay. All right. So the last part of this is the whole point of doing all this work is to be able to graph it. Okay. We're not making you graph it by hand, but we're going to make you identify the graph. Okay. Now, could you do this for the ones you, could you find all the graphs for the ones you have done right now? Absolutely, you could. You don't have to finish all of them to match up the graphs. Okay. Okay. So it says, oh no, the patient's charts have been mixed up. Identify each patient by examining the graph and your report. So your report is what you've been working on, right? And the, so I've got to find the graph that matches. So there's a, a lot of things, that, a lot of information we have. I know because this is positive, I'm looking for a graph that's opening up. Well, on this first page, they're all opening up, right? Um, I am looking for a vertex that is at negative three, negative four. So I'm going to look through those. I need to zoom in more. Let's see. It's definitely not A, right? Because that's not negative three, negative four. Uh, negative three, negative three. That's not good, right? Um, negative or positive three. That's not helping me. Ooh, negative three, negative four. Look, that one looks good. Okay, but how do I know if it's really that one? I need to look at the zeros, right? So if I look at my zeros, my zeros are supposed to be at five, zero, and one, zero. Let's look at it again. Do, are my zeros at five, or was it five, zero, or negative one? Did I mess up my, I, I messed up my values. That's my fault. Negative five, zero, negative one, zero. So are my zeros on that patient at negative, or that graph? negative five and negative one. Okay, so this one I would go ahead and write in that this was patient number one, okay? It was on D, okay, it's patient number one. All right, so you basically, you have to match up your equations to your graphs, okay? Um, the, just a, as a hint, okay, uh, look at that one. On, on A, does it have any zeros? So that means it's probably one of the ones that's coming out imaginary, right? Because an imaginary one's not going to show the zeros. It's going to float either up high above the x-axis or it's going to open down and float below the x-axis. Could you still identify the vertex? And if you wanted to find the y-intercept, you plug. We didn't really do that part, but if you plug, you can plug zeros in for the x, okay? So that's what you've got. That's the next layer to this, okay?